Hey guys, this is Mr. T. I've received a few questions about updating your PSP, and I want to go over one more thing. Alright, this is, people are having trouble updating to 4.01 or other latest custom firmwares, and they're asking me what's the problem. Well, the problem is, for a lot of them, is that their PSP custom firmware is just too old. For example, people are trying to update from 3.52 M33 to 4.01 M33, which you simply just can't do. You can't take that big of a jump. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to flash your PSP to 3.71. And from there, you can go ahead and update to 4.01, 3.90, whatever you want. From there, this will also fix a semi-brick or bring your PSP down from 4.01 to 3.71. So no matter what custom firmware you have, it will take you to 3.71 M33. Let's get started. First, download the files as usual and go ahead and open up the folder. You're going to get a recovery folder and a readme file. If you want to look over that, that's fine, but you don't have to if you're watching this video because I'm just that amazing. Um, in the recovery file, you got obviously 3.71 and eBoot. Now on your PSP, go ahead, turn on your PSP. I'm going to show you I have 2.71 SEA at the moment. Don't ask why. It's actually from another video tutorial. There you go, 2.71 SEA. Uh, I mean, this is like a very old custom firmware, but it'll still work nonetheless, like I said. Go ahead and uh, format your memory stick first. and connect it to USB. All right, now, like I said, I have an old custom firmware, so these are the only two files on my PSP, but respectively, no matter what version you're on, you're gonna wanna go to PSP game. Drag and drop the recovery folder into there. Let everything write. And voila, you're done. Now, the tricky part. Not really all that hard. All right, I'm gonna exit USB mode. Now, if you have 3.52 M33 or lower, like I have 2.71, so that's lower, you're going to want to run this from the XMB, the main menu, just like you'd start another game, okay? Now, if you have 3.52 M33 or higher than that, sorry, higher than 3.52 then you're going to want to boot this from the recovery menu go into recovery and hit run program at game psp game recovery slash eboot pvp i'll show you that real quick although like i said i have 2.71 can't so i can't boot it from there run program at psp game recovery eboot pvp also if you have a semi brick that's where you want to start it okay but like i said i have 2.71 so I want to exit and go back to the XMB and start from there. And don't worry about it. I believe it gives you an error if you're starting from the wrong place. I can tell you otherwise. So I want to go ahead and start that. It's a pretty easy thing to do. It's very basic. Just follow the instructions. You're going to be looking for 3.71. So you can go ahead and hit I agree the second option now you can hit flash new 3.71 m33 this program is also pretty cool it restores all XMB and settings and stuff like that if you want it but we want flash new 3.71 okay now it's gonna ask you if you want to reset your settings or do not reset them I really don't care I'm gonna reset now it's gonna go through it just give it a minute plug it in the AC adapter let it go now for your sake I'm gonna skip it for you all right we're finished it's gonna say press any button to shut down you can be creative if you really wish to um, I'll hit R let it go now remember it's gonna shut down your PSP so give it a minute patience is a virtue and just like that my PSP is off I believe in a second wait for it wait for it 
and money. Oh, there you go. Okay, PSP is off. Turn it back on. And voila. No, I reset the settings, so I have to go through this. But if you saved them, then you shouldn't have to. Let's see. Three point seven one and three three. Now, from there, you can follow my other video tutorial on how to update your PSP custom firmware, or you can stay at three point seven one and three three. Although I do recommend that you at least update to the second version of 3.71. Um, that's about it. Have a good day. Please rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I do enjoy it. Thank you very much. Adios amigos. Peace out.